I'm here with a different video and in today's video I have an HP Pavilion laptop and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your mechanical drive on these versions to a solid state drive or if you want to upgrade your uh, M.2 solid state drive to a bigger uh, capacity drive. This particular one it's the model uh, HP 15-CW1063 this applies to any version of that has the CW versions so first thing first you need few stuff before you get it started you need an opening tool and a screwdriver set I use the iFixit tool set they are really good tool set to have around and they come with uh, all the bits that you need to open any type of laptop or cell phones for this particular laptop, we're going to be using only the double zero Phillips and Phillips number zero. See these two, we're going to be using. And also, you will be needing an opening tool. You can use any opening tool that you like. I use the guitar pick. The iFixit tool set, they actually provide you with an opening tool. But my prefer, I prefer this guitar pick because of the really toughness and soft edges. It's really handy and fits nice and nicely on the between your hands to open the stuff all right let's get into it and start first thing first we're going to be using bed number double zero phillips and we're going to remove the three screws that are visible in front of your laptop which are right here these three screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them so go ahead and remove these three screws all right, next, you want to use your opening tool and we're going to remove these uh, rubber legs at the back end by the hinges. So just stick it right underneath this rubber and then go ahead and lift it up and stick it beside it. Only the back end, you don't need to remove the front end uh, rubbers. Now we're going to switch to the Phillips number zero. And we're going to remove these three screws. Again, these three screws are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching this. Now, the fun part. We're going to grab the opening tool. And we're going to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. So open up this one a little bit here. So I'm going to stick it right there, as you can see. About two or three millimeters deep. And then you want to just twist it. What I even normally do, I don't do the front end. I start from the side. So go ahead and stick it to the side corners between the top and the bottom cover and go ahead and just twist it. You want to do a twist motion, go all around. It's kind of hard to do it with the camera that I have in front of me. So I'm just twisting it. You are, you're going to hear those clicks. Those are the clicks that are clicking, getting loose. So if it's the first time you're doing it, it's going to be a little tough. So don't panic. You just want to keep doing it. So you see that thing is opening up already. Keep doing the side. You're not going to break anything. Do the corners. Do the back end by the hinges. This one is already loosened. Go towards between the hinges. Start from one corner. Back here, you want to you don't want to pull it backward, you want to pull it inward in this part only. So bring it forward. You can see a little bent right here. Okay, there. Now you want to go to this corner, and on this side, you want to pull it the opposite direction. So lift it up to the back, like you open your can. So pull it back. Pull it back. So I only do the sides and the back end. You could go ahead and do the front, but I'll tell you why not to. So once you did the back and the sides, there's a three clips in the middle, so you have to get those loose too. So pretty much I'm gonna wiggle it around as I'm lifting it up. So lift it up and wiggle it around, and it will come loose. And then just lift it up and bring it towards the front. 
and the front clips automatically they're gonna get loosened up you do not need to remove the battery to do the upgrade for the hard drives but if you want to be really paranoid and remove the battery go ahead and remove one screw two three four with a phillips number zero once you remove these four screws you can simply lift up the battery and disconnect it from there but it's not necessary as we can see, there's a mechanical SATA hard drive right here, and we have an M.2 drive right here with an M.2 connector uh, right there. So, if you want to upgrade your 128 gig M.2 drive, all you have to do remove one screw at the back here, it's a Phillips number zero, and then you want to lift up about 10 to 15 degrees. Let me show you in this angle. You want to lift up this much. You want to lift up more, otherwise you're going to break the contacts. Lift up a little bit, and then you pull it back towards the other side. Okay? Once you get the new drive in, the higher capacity, then remember the, this has to be M.2, not NVMe. This one, they don't support NVMe. It has to be M.2 in drive. SSD. And then you want to put it Again, in the same direction, in a 10 degrees, push it all the way in, make sure all the pins are inside, and then bring it down to the, where the screwdriver the screw goes. And if you can see, how you know how far you pushed in, it has to sit nicely around the edges where the screw goes in. All right, and then you wanna place the screw right on top. That's for upgrading your M.2 drive. Now, if you want to upgrade your mechanical drive to a different mechanical drive to a 2 terabyte or to an SSD drive, you want to remove this lock right here. To remove the lock, all you have to do is put your finger under this black cover and lift it up 90 degrees. Like, just like that. And then you can just slide out the cable. Okay. Next, you want to remove two screws. One right here and one right at the back. So go ahead and remove these two screws. These screws hold the caddy that holds the hard drive in place. Once you remove these two screws, you want to lift it up from this side and then pull it out. Because there are tiny clips here, they go underneath the case. Now, this is one terabyte Western Digital. And you can grab, this one has to be a low profile, so you cannot put a thicker one. So you must put an SSD or a low profile it's a hot mechanical drive. Let's say that you have your new SSD drive. All the SSD drives are low profile, so grab the SSD drive and remove the adapter right here by pressing your finger right in between these two adapters and just pulling it out. Try to pull it out evenly, okay? And now, remember the position that they go, the SATA is right here and this other one right here. So you want to remove this one, just pull it out, this rubber, place it in the same position. On this side of the caddy, you want to remove these two screws. And remember the position, grab the drive, place it in the same position, and put the screws right in place. Now grab this other rubber right here and put it in here okay if you put the this rubber thing the other way around it's gonna be short on one side longer on the other side so there's only one way it should go in and that's this way so it'll be evenly on both sides grab the adapter adapter only goes one way in you cannot put it the other way around snap it in put these two corners inside first and then bring it down, align the screw holes, the back one, make sure it's nicely aligned. And then put the two screws for this one. And next, you want to plug in the cable. To plug in the, SATA, in the connector, just lift up the jack, slide the cable right underneath, in between, and hold it, and then close the lead right on top of it and that's how you upgrade your 
drive. And the last thing would be grab the top cover, bring it on, and before you put it in, always put the front end down first. So lift up the back and put the corner down and hold it, put the other corner down, and then you start working from this side, pushing it down towards the screen, the corners only, and then work all the way to the back. Make sure you hit those clicks. Okay, and then you can do the front. The front, do not press it too much. Just open up the laptop a little bit so you don't press on the screen. And you want to pinch the front cover, top and bottom. Go ahead and pinch all around. And now you want to press on this area, right on the right side where the two screw is, on this side. Remember the, those three clips? Right there. All right, now what you want to do, you want to put the three screws in the front with the bit number double zero Phillips. And then black screws at the back end. I hope you like this video and it helped you guys out. And if it did, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up button and I'll really appreciate it. And if you guys could subscribe, I'll really be really helpful for me and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and take requests and answer questions. And again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. And the last thing will be to grab this bottom legs, just put it on top and you're all set.